Hello and welcome to Unraveling the Mystery of Melpomene podcast, where we explore the enduring power of tragedy in art. In today's episode, we'll delve into the spirit of Melpomene and how it's woven into Marlene Dietrich's haunting song, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? If you want to stay updated on our future episodes, be sure to hit the subscribe button now. In today's episode, we'll cover the hauntingly powerful anti-war message in the song, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Have you ever listened to Marlene Dietrich's rendition of Where Have All the Flowers Gone? At first glance, this song may seem like a simple folk tune about the futility of war. However, a closer analysis reveals a deeper meaning that resonates with the spirit of Melpomene. This song is structured as a series of questions and answers that build upon each other, creating a sense of foreboding. The first verse starts off asking, where have all the flowers gone? The answer comes in the second verse, young girls have picked them everyone. The third verse then asks, where have all the young girls gone? And the answer comes, gone to husbands, everyone. This pattern continues until the final verse gives the answer, gone to graveyards, everyone. Through this structure, the song highlights the cyclical nature of war and its devastating effects on society. The flowers, symbolizing beauty and innocence, are picked by young girls who are then taken by husbands and eventually end up in graveyards. The repetition of the word everyone emphasizes the universality of war's impact as no one is spared from its destruction. Marlene Dietrich's haunting voice adds to the melancholic mood of the song, evoking the spirit of Melpomene, she sings with restrained sadness, as if she knows the tragedy that is to come, but is powerless to stop it. Her performance is a testament to the power of art to convey the deepest emotions of the human experience. In conclusion, perhaps the most profound question that arises from the idea of Marlene Dietrich as a modern Melpomene is whether or not we can still find solace in the tragedies of our time. In a world where we are constantly bombarded with news of war, famine, and disaster, is it still possible to acknowledge and lament these events in a way that is meaningful and cathartic? Or have we become so desensitized to tragedy that we can no longer feel its impact? While the idea of Marlene Dietrich as a modern Melpomene may seem far-fetched at first glance, it raises a number of important philosophical questions about the nature of art, the human condition, and the role of tragedy in our lives. As we continue to grapple with the tragedies of the world, we can take comfort in the fact that artists like Dietrich are still carrying on the tradition of Melpomene, reminding us of the importance of acknowledging and lamenting the tragedies of our time. In today's episode, we uncovered the strong message presented by Marlene Dietrich's haunting vocals in Where Have All the Flowers Gone? highlighting the cyclical nature of war and its devastating effects on society, ultimately evoking the spirit of Melpomene. Thanks for listening and be sure to join us for the next one.